Been bad for three years. Huh? Work. I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> it's great. What's up, YouTube? We're here. Uh, excuse both of the music, but I'm going through some. I mean, let's just say technical difficulties with this jump, but we got it right now. So, uh, all right, I'm going through the top of his hair. This is my guy, Dom uh, Dominique. Man, I've been knowing him for a couple years. Uh, when he first got there, and I first saw his hair. It was a. Uh, I was like, hey, I gotta cut this dude here. The day I met him, I was like, hey, I'm cutting your hair today, bro. And he was like, all right. Here we are three years later on a YouTube video, and I'm just knocking his hair down with a three. I don't know if you heard the conversation I was having with him, but I was trying to guess, you know, what he was, um, what which one of the guards was going to go. Cause I, not, we didn't want it too low, but, you know, we just wanted to make sure it was, um, just wanted to make sure, you know, it was the right guard for, the, for his hair, but he's got a really fine grade of hair. Thick though, but you just gotta gotta go through it. And uh, I'm checking my watch now. Look at that. Probably I'm just seeing how much time I got. I'm always filming it. Trying to just keep it together. Hey, y'all, make sure y'all hit the like, subscribe, share, and all that button uh, right here on the YouTube page. We're gonna keep more of these full length tutorials going. Blowing the hair off from now. I think I'm gonna, we're gonna switch angles here. And then I take my Babyless Skeleton Clipper and I create the first guideline. Just tapping it real, you know, just tapping the hair because I don't want it to go too deep on, like create too deep of an indentation. And I just flip the clipper around, the trimmer around and just clean up the, the base side of the hair. See, I come in a little close on the line because it's not, like as neat right there, but I just come up close with the clipper just so I can have a you know, straight line, you know, a contoured line under his occipital bone. Still just clean him up. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit here. But yeah, we're just cleaning the hair up, just getting it ready for that fade. I already knocked it down with the three, the level that we want. Now I'm just gonna take the Gold FX 880s. This one doesn't have the uh, fade blade on it. I actually kept the original blade on the Babyless Clipper because I just like how it, you know, the forgiving little space, especially when you try not to dig too deep into that first guideline. So 
so I'm just kind of going up, just maybe an inch and a half, quarter of an inch space, you know, in the fade, I'm just kind of using my eye, and just like, you should use your eye, just back up and look at it, because you can see where the fade is kind of going to drop. Now I uh, close the lever halfway, and I'm fading through it brushing and I'm normally not using a brush when I'm fading hair because I always use a clipper but I just wanted to use a brush this time because I like to keep it like really really clean and just kind of brush it down the sometimes it just depends on it depends like I said it depends on the hair his hair for sure I wanted to you know I was really trying to be really detailed on this video just so you can see and I was breaking it down but now I've got the level closed and I'm knocking out that first guideline and then didn't make a real strong indentation with the skeleton so we're just going back down just knocking that fade that bottom guideline out keep working it until you don't see space now on to the other side same thing i've already got it kind of connected all the way around where i want the fade to drop in the back side of that drop fade so we're just working the other side now light touches if you see i got the clipper it balanced on my middle finger my pointers on the side and my thumb is on the back and i'm kind of just letting the clipper bounce i'm just kind of letting it bounce through and that bounce is just going to take up the weight because my clippers are clean they're sanitized and the blades are cutting like perfect and when they're like that and his hair is clean you, if you can look you see the hair just knocking off right now it's just going, it's gone. It's out of there. The clipper's gonna do what you want it to do if you treat it right. And I'm going around the back so I can fade in the bottom of the drop fade. Kind of come around. Excuse my hands, but I gotta, I guess I gotta mount the camera a little bit higher. But, you know, we learning. We here. This YouTube. Don't forget, again, at the top, my name's always there. It's classics underscore CO. Make sure you're following. Make sure you're liking it. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you're sharing it speed up a little bit because this got blurry sorry y'all <laughs> keep going just like make make sure you hit the like subscribe you know subscribe is the, the that's the number one thing subscribing send this to a friend man you're gonna get something back nice in the universe if you put something out nice for somebody else but right now we're gonna get back into the haircut i had to shake that blurriness off real quick because uh the camera the focus is Trying to do our best. You see it coming back in. I had to cut three. There we go. We back. Now you can see the fade starting to come together at the bottom. So at the bottom of his fade, we know it's going to drip. Now I'm taking the same thing. I'm taking those clippers and still doing some little cleanup on the edge. He's got. If you notice, sometimes people have little cowlicks and random spots in the head. Their head twists. Or it's like some little funky indentation. You just kind of got to work it. Work the corners of the clippers. Keep going. It'll come out nice. And now I'm going to put on a one and a half guard after this. And kind of go through. Just go through. And if you'll notice the strokes. I switched the clippers. Because now I had the fade blade on. I'm in a thicker grade of the, the hair. I'm not down on the lower part of the fade. Which I'll probably go back and clean up with these clippers. But again, I'm just kind of one stroking all the way through because those clippers are very certain. That's the, the black uh, FX Babyless Clipper. And I'm just going through with the one now. I've already done the one and a half work because it just got it up to the level that I wanted. And now I'm doing the same thing. I'm just bouncing the clipper through that fade. And as you can see, it's just starting to go. Th I'm, I'm bouncing it through that first guideline just to keep it even. I'm just following my guidelines. That's it. That's why they're called guidelines. So you can follow them. But all we're doing is just bouncing through that first layer. And if you already see his hair starting to come out, it's just his grader hair. It's a really, really nice grader hair. But again, if you don't follow those techniques, it's very easy to mess up this type of hair. And if you keep going up, you keep not knowing where your lever is, 
you're not knowing what what you know your clippers aren't clean or something it's not cutting you're not certain they're getting hot it's a lot of things that happen for beginner barbers that kind of can throw you off or with your time and all of that these tips and techniques are just for this drop fade or certain drop fades where you can kind of just go through nice and easy take your time don't go too high on it just make sure your clippers are certain you see i keep going into the little bit darker spot right there on the side of his head those are going to be some of the most difficult spots on a lot of people's heads. that's where their occipital bone is and it's they don't allow it to you know i mean their, their their head can allow you not to get to certain angles on their head but you just kind of got to stay persistent stay consistent and you're knocking in notice i comb every other stroke sometimes i just got to get it done so i comb it down i just know where i can go the comb is just to keep the hair in one direction remember combing is controlling i'm gonna say that probably every video that i have on youtube Combing is controlling. Any video I've ever done a voiceover on, you're gonna hear that all the time because keeping your hair in the direction that the clipper is coming from is allowing you to cut it. It's allowing you to be consistent. It's allowing you to go through it. Notice I keep keeping his head at an angle. He's talking, I'm cool with him talking, but he keeps his head at an angle. And it helps with the fade. It's gonna help you be able to see the lines that's in the fade, especially with the one. You see the line right below his bone right there? I'm pulling his ear down. I'm getting right in there. And I believe that this is on the one now, so it's all always fully closed, and I'm just kind of going throughout that whole level now. The brush, combing is controlling, brushing is controlling even more so. Some people use combs, some people use brushes. It's all good. You know, they say brushes are unsanitary. Make sure your brushes are sanitary or you're cleaning them properly. Uh, I'll do a video another time on cleaning videos properly. You know, uh, clean, sorry, cleaning brushes and cleaning combs properly. But that's another time. But you know, you gotta like, subscribe, follow, you know, share, all that. Now I've got the one and I'm going through with the corners. Oh, I'm sorry, not the one. I'm on the, I have the Babyliss F880s wide open. And I'm just hitting it with the corners. You can see that fade is crispy. It comes out so nice once you go through it and you tap on it, brush on it. And that's gonna be for both sides. I'm doing the same work on both sides so that the fade is consistent. I set guidelines so I can utilize those guidelines. Go back through it, and then you get this type of fade right here. Follow your guidelines is what's gonna keep it even. I got the one back on there, now I'm doing that same open work that I did around the other side where I'm meeting him right at the top side of his head. And I'm going around and I'm just gonna spin the chair slowly through that side so it's even. My hand is up against my, almost against my waist, if you will. But it's just, I, like again, I've got the clipper balanced on my middle hand, my middle finger. If you got your clippers with you, take them out. I got my middle finger, the bottom of the clippers balanced on it, with my pointer finger guiding on the side and my thumb on the back side of it. And I'm kind of just letting the clipper bounce right through. See that? Bounce. Bounce, let that clip up. Bounce, uh, uh, let it bounce. <laughs> Hold on, do I? They stop it, mom. Let me not get into that. We'll do that. If you like this beat too, I made these beats, man. Sometimes I do a lot of work with my cousin as well. Family blood, um, the lottery music. So I'm gonna put his name somewhere on the video when I get this audio set up. But I'm trying to figure all this stuff out for y'all, man. But yeah, the lottery music on YouTube, the lottery music on Instagram. But this beat was made by your boy. I put a little space for your boy. I am got the clipper wide open for your boy. I'm about to go through the line for your boy. Uh, lines for your boy. I'm trying to find some rhymes for y'all boys and girls, people, whoever listening. Rhymes, but I'm really, really kicking it. I'm going through the bottom line. Bottom fade. Hold on. I don't but a little rap today. Let me go back and talk. I'm gonna go back to my speaking voice. Mm -hmm. I'm just 
going through the bottom line right now with the FX80 open. I'm gonna tell y'all why I started rapping too. I put the earbuds on my back, uh, not the earbuds, I put the uh, headphones back on my head and I uh, heard the beat that was playing. I didn't hear it before because I'm trying to record the audio because it was throwing me off at first. And then I heard it, I was like, ooh, I made a tough one. If you like those, I got beats for you too now. Listen, all you gotta do is like this video, subscribe to this video, subscribe to this channel, and share it with somebody, man. We gonna have some fun here. This is like the first one, or let's consider the latest of the greatest. Latest of the videos. But if you watching, I'm just keeping it under the egg. I call this right here, keeping it under the egg. Or if you want to get technical, it's where his bone is in the back side of the head. You got to know every cuss, every person. Some people have flat back. Some people have the bone there. Some people got a different shape round. If you got something other than look round, I don't, you know. But again, you see how that fade is blended right into the side right there? I'm just working that same guideline all the way around. And it's making the fade even. So when he looks at it. It's, it's squared away. I keep backing up. I keep looking at it. I'm adjusting. Even when I'm adjusting the camera, it's helping me to back up and look and see what's going on. Right now, I'm just going through the fade again with the clippers open. Oh, I've got the actually the OA on there open. I usually, let's not say I don't usually use that. Let's say we usually don't touch that, but this is really that same phase that I had on the other side. I think I missed it with you. Something happened. I don't know. Something happened. I don't know. I think I'm, yeah, I don't know what's going on right now. Hold on. Okay. We got the one. We back in it. We back in it. We authentic. I'm letting y'all see bloopers and all. I didn't even have that guard on on the other side. It's all good. I was working a le level of the fade. I jumped. I actually, this is what I did. I jumped ahead and started doing some of the work that was underneath. And of course, you can you can you can miss some steps like that. But of course, I'm turning them around. I'm looking at both sides. I'm matching it up. I'm doing what I did on the other side. I know I didn't go too high. I saved myself some space. I'm working back through it. I'm going through it with the one now. Fade is still dead even. I was just kind of coming around, jumping ahead, and now I'm throwing the one through that with the corners, and I'm turning it, trying to take that bulk out. I'm debulking. Or what some people would call texturizing. It's blurry right now, but just know that's just that's just the fade. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, make sure you liking, subscribing, commenting, everything, man. We trying to. I do this every day, and I shoot this. I'm I do this all the time. I'm probably just gonna be putting these videos out every week, every month, something like that. Just stay attached to what we got going on, man. I'm just showing you what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm going to be doing some other stuff throughout the course of this channel. But yeah, right now I'm going back through it again. Brushing, combing. Notice I started to grab some of the thicker part of the hair, so I brushed it forward. I'm going to take the comb and kind of go back through that because it's a little bit lower than what it is on the other side. He had, from his last record, it was like a little bit of a hump there. So I'm going to just take the clippers and go back through that with that one and a half. This hair is just a different grade of hair, so you can tap it like that and it's just going to blend right in. But again, I'm taking those corners with a one and a half, tilting his head, making sure I see all those angles. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all enjoying it so far. If there's some things or some suggestions you have, leave them in the comment box, man. Not necessarily, I don't care what it's on. You want to comment on the haircut? Comment on the haircut. If you want to comment on the Clippers, comment on the Clippers. If you want to comment on what I'm talking about, comment on that. If you want me to talk about something, comment on that. Still working through the fade. I got the one open and I'm killing them pieces because of, remember I told you, he's, a customer could either be laughing, they could be talking, anything, but that bone right there on the side of his head, where, right where I'm hitting that with that one open, that up uh, sibital bone that right there is the bone of that little bone you got to keep them still that muscle it moves in their head so it blows it up so you see uh, but that fade coming together guys spin them around take a good look at it Woo. 
Check him out. Check him out. Do some last little cleanups with the corners of my blades on those FX880. Talk to him crazy. Niggas look around like they drive Mercedes. Uh, do it like they did it in the 80s. Mm, do it, baby. You like play. Hold on. Ooh. Can y'all hear the beat? Or can you hear me? Whatever. Do some little cleanup stuff. Excuse my hands. Corner work, corner work, corners of the clippers. And I'll be a little more detailed maybe later. I think I'm being in a pretty detailed. It's a full length tutorial, so you got to find stuff to talk about throughout. Notice I'm tilting his head, and I'm working the corner of that clipper. What what clippers do y'all cut with? What clippers do y'all prefer? What clipper do you have? What are your what's your go-to clipper? Right now these are mine, man, because they're babies did a good job with these clippers. They went strong, strong, strong with this stuff. That's why you see a lot of people with them. They might look good, but they probably cut better than a lot of people's main stuff right now, bro. This stuff is some these are some decent clippers. A little bit on the pricey side, but you can find them online. But if you're really passionate about what you're doing, you really want to give people the best, man. You got to spend your money on some of the best stuff. Most of the best stuff. The things that are important. See, I'm hitting that dark spot with the corner of the clipper, just knocking that out. I'm going to go back at it. what we listening to in the shop but excuse my shoulder uh, brush them off dust them off that's one thing a lot of people forget about is the dusting off bro don't take pictures and all that stuff with clippers that are not i mean with uh don't take your pictures with your stuff all people neck all hairy my wife used to get on me about that all the time why you got that hairy hairy love you shout out to her cinematic nail shout out to the wifey Ladies, if you get your nails done, if you're looking at this, or anybody that got ladies that need to get their nails done, go check out Cinematic Nails. I'm just working through right now. I'm cleaning out that bottom line of where the fade, where I started the guideline. I'm just coming around, just keeping it clean. I've got actually those Andes T outliners. They still in my pocket. I still can rock with them Andes sometimes in here and again. As you can see, this is the part that, you know, allows him to go out and people say, hey, who cut your hair? These are the details. Details are everything. Now that I clean it up and I see the infinite level the, or the finite level of the fade that I want to just fade out where there's no lines. That's why it's called a fade. I'm going back through and making sure from what I got that set to at the top with a four. Going back, doing a little clip of over comb, just picking up those higher levels of where I see the bolt. I just saw that in the middle of me doing the fade, so I just got the clipper wide open right now, going through, taking the corners, jamming into those little. Ooh, I don't know if you notice I spent them, but that's that. That's the level of it where you kind of spin them around and you just go through with the corner of the fade. You make sure that his fade is super icy. You got your clients, make sure you're paying attention to it, backing up, seeing it, you know, not getting tunnel vision. I'm on the beard now. And I'm going to just do a little cleanup work. I'm going to let y'all just kind of rock out on the rest of this fade. But I'm just doing that to his beard. There's a funny story about me and this guy, his beard. So when we were in school, we went to a competition, and he was the head that I used for the competition. This was about three years ago now. Um... Yeah. Notice I'm just stretching the skin out, just hitting that top layer. But uh the, the story, we were in school, we, we we went to a competition, I cut his head in a competition, actually a Miami Elite Barber battle. And uh we didn't place because it was a beard and a drop fade and beard competition. They said, Well the fade is dumb, dumb clean. But you ain't, you know, the beard, you, you got you got to pick a better beard to do that. And, you know, I know my guy ain't going to mind that I told that story. But, again, it's like, come on, bro. It's, look at the fade, though. His beard was nice. He just didn't have as much of a beard as he has right now. So, 
Now I'm just taking the clip with closed, just going through that top level, making sure it's all even out all the way across the top. You see I'm taking those loose hairs off. Mm. Um, yeah, it's getting personal. With him, we it's, it's a bit of a natural line we kind of go with. Beating through it, I'm gonna do the corners. I'm taking the corners of the clip, I'm kinda tapping where I see the fade needs that will in increase for his temples. Just drawing it back. Kinda rock with like more of a little bit of a natural line with him. Just because of how the front of his hair is. Top, right, 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 naturally a little bit on the top. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back, cleaning it up with the corners of the clip at the bottom of the fade. Now, Classics Beard Oil. Use it, get it. I'm gonna put you a commercial at the end of this so you can see it. Stay tuned after this video. I'm gonna show you some of that beard oil, but I just do that. I'm cleaning them up with the razor. Just making sure his corners are sharp, making sure his temples are real, real sharp. Cause when you look back at it, you'll see how even everything will be. A nice little natural line there. Even the outer, outermost points of his hair, just keeping it real even. Yep, yep, yep. We still here. We still here. Hey, if you liking what you're seeing so far, if you look, we gonna. I'm listen. I'm analyzing while I'm filming as well and seeing. I'm just moving day by day. But as you can see, I'm still just kind of get get getting most of the hair that I can grab from like his outer pieces and just lining everything up, making sure his beard super full. But again, if you liking what you're seeing, like, comment. If you dislike, dislike it too. <laughs> share it you know this is gonna be on here we locked in we're just looking at it but his fade is super clean super crispy i'm just cleaning up the inside of his beard we're going with a little bit more of a natural look on that and i'm gonna do a little enhancement on it look up there at that fade you see that how he's stuck i'm just cleaning up his beard right now but that's how the fade should look from that angle. Anywhere somebody's looking at him from, he's chilling out, everybody, just, that's a fade that you look at and that you admire. But it, it's gonna help you with your clients. If you follow those steps, that fade should come out just like that. That's a contour drop fade. touching his face that hard bro it's just light pressure if you're a barber you know what it is you're just coming around just to show his little beard a little love right now got the likes on him if you like the video like comment share subscribe hey like comment share subscribe hey like comment share subscribe do that what you doing keep doing what you doing keep loving who you love Keep being where you be. Alright. Here we are. Hey, if you liked it, like, comment, share, subscribe. There you have a drop fade. That's my guy Dominique. Shout out. 
we're gonna brush it in a little more we're gonna trim up some stuff but i'm gonna keep that beard brushed in we just brushing in to make sure you know we ain't knocking nothing out making sure all of the stuff's faded in nice and decent i'm doing some last minute touch-ups but there you have it that's the drop fade classics barbering company on youtube jump in there make sure you like it comment share subscribe like comment share subscribe keep doing what you're doing keep loving who you're loving this is brandon of classics barber and company they call me classics you can call me brandon you call me what you want to just don't call me late to lunch or dinner shout out to everybody who needs a shout out shout out to everybody that don't even give a damn neck up making sure the fade line is clean ain't no extra hair this is what you call a haircut all that's a part of the haircut a little clean up work in the beard i see some little spots that i was just cleaning up watch that boom boom i might do a video on just the beard one day or just beards one day i'm, I'm pretty sure i am but again you'll never know unless you subscribe to this channel classic barbering company Jump in there and like that. Jump in there and subscribe. Jump in there and comment. Cleaning up that back beard, the back line on that beard. Here we are. Mm. Yes, sir. Dominique. Show them people what you got, bro. Show them people what it is, bro. This is Classics Barber Company on YouTube. Like comment share subscribe thank y'all for watching if you watch this far if you skip to the end and you liked it hey it don't matter you right here you here with me yeah this is a drop fade we got the fade in there we got his beard nice and cleaned up this is what you would consider a happy customer flashback that's what he was looking like Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow.